welcome to this review of the Courtyard Montpellier. Our journey began in London where we took the Eurostar to Paris, then from Paris we took the high speed French train TGV to Montpellier. I used the Marriott Bonvoy mobile app to check in online and it's around 11pm and they knew what time I was coming. So, as a tiny member, the breakfast is complimentary, so it's up from 6 until 10.30 on the weekend and until 10 during the, during with the week. Mm -hmm. And would you prefer the points or the 10 euros of uh, the food and beverage? The hotel has a modern and clean design and for the first three nights I'm in a twin room on the ground floor and for the last two nights I'm in a junior suite. Let's check out the twin room first. The room is 247 square feet and as you enter, immediately on your left is your bathroom and on the right is a cupboard. Inside the cupboard you have bathrobes, hangers, ironing board, slippers and extra pillows. Just next to that is your mini bar area where you have tea and coffee facilities and below is a fridge. The fridge is normally empty, however we've put some drinks in there for our stay. Here's a look at the room and as you can see there is a table and chair, TV, footstool and twin beds with a bedside table in between. The plug sockets here are European plugs so you'll need to bring an adapter. I was able to get an adapter from reception but if you don't give this back you will be charged. We also have a balcony which is shared which is nice if you are sharing uh, as a party with maybe somebody next door but otherwise it is less private uh, but it was fairly quiet the entire time we were there. We'll now have a look at the bathroom which consists of a bathtub and a shower head. Straight ahead of you is a sink and on the left is your toilet. In terms of amenities you have shampoo, conditioner and body wash, towels, body lotion and soap to wash your hands. There's also two hooks on the back of the door to hang your clothes. Heading back to the main entrance you'll see reception and some seating options with an elite desk on the right. You also have this leaflet area which gives you information about tours, maps and so forth. You also have a business centre with access to a printer and next to reception there is something called the market where you can grab drinks and snacks throughout the day. Also on the ground floor is the gym and swimming pool. The gym is accessible 24 hours a day and is a good size. This hotel has 120 rooms and 3 suites so the gym is a good size. The pool is a little small and is open from 9 till 9 but plenty of sun beds on the sides for you to relax. I don't have the exact measurement of the pool but I estimate it's about 10 meters, possibly 12 at most and is 1.5 meters deep. Heading back to reception you also have the main restaurant and bar for the hotel. We had just arrived at the beginning of September just before the Rugby World Cup was starting and the Samoan team was staying here. Disappointingly in the evenings it was still quite dead in the bar. This is the main restaurant where you'd have your breakfast which we'll have a look at in a moment. There's plenty of seating options all around. I've taken these shots just after breakfast had finished and so some of the tables do look a bit bare. The breakfast offering is an American style or continental style. Offerings include bacon, scrambled egg, baked beans, hash browns or potato roasties, tomatoes, fruit, salad, pastries and cereals. As well as a mixture of hot and cold drinks including juices. They also have almond milk as a dairy alternative and they also serve avocado in the fruit selection which is great. It's not something you see in most hotels. I did contact the hotel in advance asking them to make some vegan pastries. After all, I'm in France and I was really looking forward to trying some vegan croissants or vegan pain au chocolat but I got a very poor response back basically saying there is a buffet selection and there are some vegan options. but. No effort was made to try and liaise with the chefs and try and arrange some vegan pastries. That was more disappointing, especially given that I'm a Titanium member, almost ambassador. The other thing I noticed is that the staff in the morning are very helpful and friendly. But if you wanted to talk to the chef, they won't speak to you and they'll tell you to speak to the staff. For example, breakfast starts at 6am as normal and on my last day I decided to arrive early as I had to catch a flight. I arrived for breakfast at 6.45 and noticed there was still no avocado out. So I asked the member of staff to chase this up and they said yes it should be out shortly. Around 7 o'clock I saw the chef and I asked them can you please put the avocado out as I have to catch a flight. The chef said immediately talk to the staff which I had to then talk to the staff and eventually around 7.15 or 7.20 the avocado came out. 
We'll now have a quick look at the junior suite, which is what I had for the last two nights of my stay. And as you enter, immediately in front of you is a desk and on the right is a separate toilet as there's no toilet in the bathroom. Straight ahead is your bathroom, which also has a shower cubicle as well as a bathtub and a few more amenities as well as two sinks. I immediately noticed that the shower cubicle door doesn't close and I reported this to the front desk but no action was taken. There is also no rain shower in the shower cubicle, just for your information. As mentioned earlier, there are three suites. This is the junior suite and you also have one which is called the suite. Both of these are 377 square feet, but the difference is the junior suite does not have any balcony, but it has windows which you can open. And another difference I noticed between this suite and my previous room is that the fridge here was fully stocked. It contained two bottles of mineral water, two bottles of Perrier water, two cans of Heineken beer, some iced tea and juice. These drinks are provided as a one-time offer on arrival, so whether you stay one night or ten nights, these are not replenished during your stay. Whilst you have a look around the rest of the room, I'm just going to give you a summary of my experience of this hotel. Montpellier has two Marriott hotels currently, the courtyard being one, and they have an autograph collection hotel. If I return to Montpellier, I think I would give the autograph collection a go. The reason being is I don't feel that there's much appreciation or recognition for titanium or ambassador members at this hotel. Normally in most hotels, you'll get a member of staff, i.e. a general manager or a loyalty manager, come and check with you that how is your stay going, is there anything they can do for you, but over here, there was none of that. Also, I made the effort to contact the hotel in advance to ask them to make some vegan pastries for breakfast. This is not very difficult to do, but they made no effort to accommodate. So, overall, quite a poor experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos about travel. See you next time.